Viewpoint is going around asking students what they think about current ASRCC president Doug Figueroa running for a second term here on campus after it was revealed that he is a registered sex offender. We currently have the ASRCC president here on campus and he's going to be running again for a second term. It was recently revealed that he is a registered sex offender. Do you mind telling me uh, what, are, what, are, what are your thoughts and, and how do you feel about that? No, I don't like that. Is it really? <laughs> hmm. um, I didn't know this is what this is going to be about. <laughs> um, well, honestly, like, it's not going to stop me from coming to this school. But I don't agree with it. But I'm not a very, like, judgmental person. Wait, wait, um, that. What? <laughs> The, guy, the student body president that represents you, that represents all of you guys and us and everyone else, um, is a registered sex offender. How do you guys feel about that? Not too good right now. <laughs> I think that's really bad. It's yeah. not a good representation of our students. No. Yeah, I mean, I don't want the face of our school, well, kind of, to be a sex offender. Well, it's, it's kind of, for me, it's like, I didn't know until you told me. So it's like, um, it, like, I didn't even know that we had a, a <laughs> student said, body. But, yeah, a student body. So it's like, if, if no one knows, then it's like, what can you really do? The administration on campus was aware prior to his first term, um, but didn't make it aware to the students. Um, do you think the students should have been informed uh, since they voted for him? Do you think they should have known that um, going into their first, his going into voting for him for his first term? Yes, all that should be disclosed to the student because he's here to represent us, but some of us are parents and others are not, so they should be aware of everything in past and current of their student government. Um, we should have every information on any leader that, that runs, if it's a student or if it's an adult. So the, the, the fact that he didn't even, he didn't put that out, that information out, um, I. That I would find that irresponsible no matter what kind of a sex offender. That's just information that should be available. We should, they shouldn't hold these. If they're going to be representing us, we should know exactly what's like going on to a certain degree in order for us to know that they hold our values. Because that's, you know, representation is like them holding our values and making decisions based on our values. So if we don't know those kinds of things, then how are we supposed to make an informed decision about whether or not we want them to be in uh, like office? With this next election, it's almost a guarantee he will be in because there is no one else running against him. What do you think the students could have done? Why don't I run against him? <laughs> what, do I, what, what does it take for me to run against him? The deadline has already passed, but oh, I know, I know. do you think with a situation like this will encourage students to, to not only vote, but to register themselves to run for these type of positions next time? So things yeah, like this should. doesn't happen? 